Hi, I'm Aaron Brown from Delve Writing, and we are really excited to be hosting author David Corbett for a special class on character. It's called Character and Conflict. It's going to run three Tuesdays starting July 8th. We really hope that you'll check it out on our site and find out more about this wonderful opportunity to develop your protagonists and antagonists and all of your supporting characters to make sure that your novel is as rich as possible. It's a very practical, hands-on course we think you're going to love. But in the meantime, I wanted to share with you just a little clip from one of David's fantastic classes that he did for us last summer. Enjoy. I like to think that empathy and experience reinforce each other and that our experience permits our understanding of ourselves to enhance our understanding of others. And empathy permits our engagement with others to deepen our own self-understanding. Um, there was a friend of mine in my 20s who said, you don't know yourself by yourself. And I think this is one of the most fundamental truths of my life. I love that. And it's in our engagement with others. It's in allowing ourselves to be seen by others that we truly come to understand ourselves. I think most of us in our love relationships are looking for someone who can see us as we see ourselves, but also who can judge us kindly and, uh, and, and see us as honest, honestly enough that in those times when we are self-deluded or we are mistaken in our motives, that they can tell us and we'll accept it. Um, so you don't know yourself by yourself. And so building your experience along with your empathy is key to being able to be good at characterization. But ultimately, it still gets back to you. And what do I mean by a deeper understanding and why is it important? Okay, one, again, it, it helps form an intuitive bond with the character because the better you understand your own emotions, the better you'll understand your character's emotions. But also, face it, your life is the one unique thing you bring to the page. Nobody else has your emotions. Nobody else has your instincts. Nobody else has what you have. It's the one unique thing you bring to your writing experience. So why sit there and say, well, you know, my life's boring. I'd rather... You know, I'd rather write about spacemen or detectives or doctors in the emergency room. Well, yes, of course you would. But none of those people are that different than you are. And accepting that and understanding that is how you'll really be able to go to those, those different locations, those different scenarios, those different worlds, and animate them with characters who are emotionally significant, credible, and interesting. The other great thing about doing this kind of, of work is that it tends to mitigate the tendency to be writerly instead of honest and open. Once you've begun looking at yourself honestly, you stop trying to be the great writer. You instead start trying to be the truthful writer. And I think that's where we all should be aiming. If you, try, if you write well, you're writing truthfully and directly. So understanding yourself is one of the key elements in being able to do that.